welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Statistics. And for today we are going to be interpreting histograms. So in the previous lesson we discussed how to draw histograms and especially the histograms that have an equal class interval. For the ones that have equal uh, class intervals, the procedure is the same. The only difference comes in we do not use frequency density. So let's look at a few questions. So below is a histogram. So you notice this histogram has an equal class uh, interval. So you notice that we used on the y-axis the frequency density, not just frequency. So keep that in mind, especially if you're looking for frequency. So use the histogram above to complete the frequency table. We said we get the frequency density. is equals to the frequency of a class wave. So let's get the class wave first before we start using the formula. So we have 13.5 minus 11.5, which will give us two. So the loop class, the width for the first class, class interval is two, and then 15.5 minus 13.5, which will give us also two. And then we have 17.5 minus 15.5, which will give us also 2. And finally, the last one is 23.5 minus 17.5, which will give us 6. So you can see they are not equal. The first three are equal, but the last one is not equal. So we are going to input our values here, whatever values we get from the table. So we will call this one frequency density. I'm going to use FD to represent what the values I'm going to get from the graph. So the frequency density for the class interval between 11.5 and 13.5 is going to be 3. And then between 13.5 and 15.5 from the table, you notice is, let's ex, uh extrapolate it's going to be 4.5 uh, 4.5 is up here so this is 4 uh -huh. you can see this is 4.25 approximately 4.25 because it's the half between 4.0 and 4.5 and then we have uh, 15.5 to 17.5 is at 3 also. And finally, 17.5 to 23.5, which gives us 1. So if you were to get the frequency, the frequency density, which is in the first case is 3, is equal to the frequency over the class width, which is 2. So basically, frequency is equal to the class width times the frequency density. So that is what you are going to So it is 2 times 3, which gives us 6. Then 2 times 4.25, which gives us 8.5. And then 2 times 3, which will give us 6. And 6 times 1, which will give us 6. I hope you have been able to underst understand what we have done. So use the formula, which we have is the frequency density. Let's look at another question. So the diagram below shows an histo a histogram representing the marks obtained in a certain test. So once again, we are using frequency density that tells you that the class intervals are not uniform. As you can see also from the image or from the from the histograms, the bar the bar graphs the bars are not of the same uh, size. So if the frequency of the first class is twenty. Prepare a frequency distribution table for the data. You state the model class, you estimate the mean mark and the median mark. So the first thing we are going to create are, are tables. We will start with the marks, but in this case, we're just using the up, upper limits and the lower limits. So the first one is 4.5 to 9.5. The second is 9.5 to 19.5. And then third is 19.5 to 39.5 and finally 39.5 to 
to 49.5. Next, you look at the width, which is just the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. So 9.5 minus 4.5, which will give us 5. And then 19.5 uh, minus 9.5, which will give us 10. And then 39.5 minus 19.5, which will give us 20. And finally, we have 49.5 minus 39.5, which will give us 10. So remember what we said? We said to get the frequency, we are going to multiply the class width times the frequency density. So we need also to get the frequency density from the tape, from the histogram. So between 4.5 and 9.5, we have 4. Between 9.5 and 19.5, as you can see, is 5. And then between 19.5 and 39.5, we have 2. And finally, between 39.5 and 49.5, we have 3. You just extrapolate to the, to the y-axis. So to get now the frequency, remember we multiply these two. So 5 times 4 will give us 20. 10 times 5 will give us 50. 2 times 20 will give us 40. And finally, 10 times 3 will give us 30. So this is our frequencies. And you notice the first class has a frequency of 20, just like from the question we were told. So for us to estimate the model class, model class is the one that has the highest frequency. And the one that has the highest frequency is between 9.5 to 19.5. Or we can say it's going to be 10 to 20 because the lower limit to 19. The lower limit is... The lower limit is going to be 9.5, so originally it was 10. The upper limit is 19.5, so originally it was 19. Either way, it still gives you the same answer. So estimate the mean mark. For us to get the mean, we need the sum of f, x over the sum of f of the frequency. So that tells you we need the midpoint, which is x. We need those midpoints. And the midpoints are gotten from adding the upper limit plus the lower limit to divide by 2. So the upper limit is going to be, in this case, we can decide to use the limits as they are, or we use the original class uh, intervals. So if you were to originally use the original class intervals, this would be 5, and then this would be 9. So it would be 9 plus 5 divided by 2, which will give us 7. And then if we were to use 9.5 plus 4.5 divided by 2, it still give us the same answer. So either you use the original uh, class intervals as they were, or you use the upper limit and the lower limit, you still get the same answer. So 19.5 uh, plus 9.5 will give us 29. And if you divide by 2, you're going to get a width of 14.5. And then we have 39.5 minus 19.5, which will give us 20. If you divide that by 2, you get 10. And then finally, we have 49.5 plus 39.5, which will give us 89. If you divide that by 2, you get 44. So the next thing we need is the fx. So we have already the f, so it is 20 times 7, which will give us 140. We have 14.5 uh, uh, times 50, which will give us 725. And then we have 29.5 uh, times 40 which will give us 1,180. And finally, we have 
0.5 uh, times 30, which will give us 1,335. So if you add the value of f and the value of fx, for the value of f is 20 plus 50 plus 40 plus 30, which will give us 140. And then for the sum of fx will be 140 plus 725 plus 1,180 plus 3,000, 1,335 which will give us 3,380. Uh, so if we do the sum of fx, which is 3,380, over sum of f, which is 140, we are going to get a total of 24.14. And then median mark, remember what we said, we are going to get the lower limit. First of all, before we get the lower limit, we need to get uh, the median class. And we get the median classes. This is an even number. We are going to do 140 divided by 2. You get 70. So you look at 70 and 71. So 70 and 71, when you look at the frequencies, cumulative frequency, the first class we have a frequency of 20. The second class we have a frequency of 50. So the 70th. Uh, a student falls on the on the class between 9.5 and 19.5 and then uh, the 70, 71th falls on the same class, still the same class, that is 9.5 and 19.5. So the lower limit is going to be 9.5 plus into bracket n which is 140 divided by 2 minus the cumulative frequency of the preceding class. And the preceding class is 4.5 to 9.5, which is going to be now the cumulative frequency, which is going to be 20. And then divide by the frequency of the median, median class, which is the frequency of the median class is 50. And then times the wind of the height of the median class. And the height or width of the median class is 10. So we are going to do 140 divided by 2 is 70. 70 minus 2 is 50. 50 divided by 50 is 1. So 9.5 plus 1 times 10 will give us 10. So 9.5 plus 10 will give us 19.5. And that is our answer. So I hope you have been able to see how we did this question. Uh, the, the major thing in this question is for you to remember how to get your frequencies if you have the frequency density. And then to remember the previous concepts we learned on calculation of mean and calculation of media. So watch out for more notes and revision questions on the same in the app. See you in the next lesson.